been on this YouTube journey for a couple of months and I've been trying to learn video editing using DaVinci Resolve but it was impossible because my old computer kept lagging and I could only edit footages of a few seconds at a time because there just wasn't enough GPU. Anyway, that's why I got a MacBook M1 Pro. I got the 16 inches version because I figured if I'm going to edit videos and photos all the time, I would want to be able to look at the details and avoid tiring my eyes out. So now I'm going to show you how MacBook M1 Pro performs in DaVinci Resolve. Here I have already put all the footages I'm going to use together and I'm done with most of the editing. You can see here we have footages, images, audios, and texts. And you can see how smooth the playback is. Well, there were times when I tried to speed up my footages eight times faster and there seemed to be some problems paying back, but it doesn't happen very often. So other than that, I'm satisfied with video editing in DaVinci Resolve using this new computer. And now I can also go to the color page, do some color grading, adjust the lightness and darkness, adjust the saturation. So here I have 33 segments in this entire video. As you can see, everything is going smoothly. If I deal with a file this big with my old computer, the color view panel won't be able to show because of the lack of GPU. And now we can go to the export page. Let's see how long it takes to export this video. It's a little more than four minutes long and I'm going to export it in 4K MP4 format. Now let's start. A few moments later. Okay, after nine minutes and five seconds, we have finished exporting. I think it's all right. Before I got my MacBook M1 Pro, most of the time I had to edit videos with my phone using apps like VN or CapCut. I'm not saying smartphone apps are not good. Actually, they are very convenient, but it just takes forever to export when the file is bigger. Another thing I want to mention is that with my old computer, I couldn't use the Catalyst Browse which is the stabilizing software for my Sony ZV-E10 camera. I downloaded it successfully, but every time I opened the software, it just turned itself off. Actually, I tried using this software on two computers. One is Mac OS 2015 version, and the other is 2019 Xiaomi computer. Neither of them could run Catalyst Browse, but now with the new computer, there's no problem using this software. So I'm just very glad that now with the MacBook M1 Pro, I can finally make the most use of Sony ZV-E10 and I can use the Vinci Resolve smoothly. So I can start learning more tricks about these softwares and try to create better videos. Before we end this video, I just want to share with you a funny story of how we got this new computer. So we actually went to the Apple store three times and every time they told us that they had sold out all of the MacBook Pros, whether it's the 16 inches version or the 14 inches version. And it's very strange because we had called to the store to ask if they still had it and they said yes so we took a 30 minute bus bus ride to the store and they said that they're all gone they were they just sold out all the computers in 30 minutes so we called all the other stores all the other apple stores in the city and 
they said that there was really nothing in stock, and they didn't know when the next arrivals would come. So they said that we just had to call and ask every day. I mean, isn't it crazy? Is MacBook Pro really that popular? How is the situation in your countries or in your cities? I would really like to know that. So leave a comment to let me know. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.